Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to make your phone go from this to this. Run that. So as someone who has been using Android devices for over the past seven years, customizing my phone to my exact taste using like launches and custom icons was such an integral part of the Android experience for me. So naturally, when I got an iPhone, I was so eager to start customizing it. And I remember seeing threads on Twitter of people having fully blown out customized iPhone home screens, and I was so excited. But what I came to realize is that customizing an iPhone is still quite different and it's just not as easy as doing it on an Android device. A lot of it felt more like workarounds than customizations. An example being is that you still can't use custom icons. I mean, they look like custom icons, but they're really just Siri shortcuts. Anyways, in this video, we're going for the minimalist design, which is personally my favorite. It's basically having all your default apps like iMessage, FaceTime, your camera app on the bottom rack, and then you have your four most used apps on the bottom right corner so that everything is within your thumb's reach. And then I also have a widget stack for some basic information and reminders. Anyways, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we need to get is a plain background. I prefer using black because it looks very clean and it fits with the dark theme aesthetic we're going for. Then we set up our custom icons. For this, we'll be using the Traff iOS 14 icons pack which I bought so you guys can access and download it for free using the link in the description. It has all the app icons you need and it comes in four color profiles, black, cobalt, slate, and white, but we'll only be using black icons for this tutorial. So once you have that downloaded and saved into the files on your phone, you're set to start creating the shortcuts. In the shortcuts app, you search for the open app action and select the app you want. You then tap on the option button to the right and then add the shortcut to the home screen. You can then select any photo for the shortcut, but obviously we'll be using the icons we just downloaded. Find the app and then add it to your home screen and that's it, you're done. Now you just need to repeat that for all the app icons you want to change and your Gucci. The last step, which is what gives it this extra clean look, is adding the right widgets. So if you've noticed, normally Apple doesn't allow you to place apps anywhere you want. They kind of force this layout that makes your apps always arrange themselves from the top left corner. So the question is, how are we able to get the apps to sit at the bottom of the screen? Well, that's because the space on top isn't really space. It's actually a blank widget. Like I said earlier, it's more of workarounds than actual customizations. Anyways, to get this clear widget, you need to download this app called ClearSpace. And then all you need to do is screenshot your home screen and it will create blank widgets from that. This step is a lot easier if your wallpaper is plain, but obviously it will also work with other wallpaper designs. Also, for the date widget, I use this app called Color Widgets and it's really easy to set up. You just choose the shape and the color of the widget that you want and really that's it. Now with all that, you're set. However, there are some key things to note. Firstly, anytime you open an app you've created with the custom icon shortcut, you get this animation that lets you know it's a shortcut. It lasts like half a second, but it's worth mentioning because some people may find it really annoying. Secondly, you will no longer have those notification counters on your app icons if you use the shortcuts. Personally, I don't mind it because it kind of reduces my impulse to open apps. However, I'm sure there are some people who like them and that might be something they need to consider. In conclusion, it's clear that Apple doesn't really want you to have full customization over their phone. They could make the process a whole lot easier, but they've chosen not to. Personally, I love customizing my phone. I feel like it gives my phone an extra level of personality, and it's also a great conversation starter. Almost everyone who has used or has seen my phone always has something to say about it. That's why I think everyone should customize their phone. It doesn't have to be as extreme as this. You could just rearrange your apps or group them in a way that's easier for you to use. I mean, at the end of the day, it's your phone and you spend a lot of time on it. So you might as well make it look good. So yeah, definitely try it. And if you have a customized home screen, I really appreciate it if you could add me on Twitter and post a picture of that home screen just so I can have an idea of what you guys do with your home screens. But yeah, we've come to the end of this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really helps the channel. But you know the vibes, I'll see you in the next one. But until then, stay light and stay G safe.